In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'm Priest Seraphim Holland. I'm the rector of St. Nicholas Orthodox Church in McKinney, Texas. I'll put information in the description, which is our address, our website, etc., etc. Uh, we are a small, very much growing, tripled since the pandemic began, church, Orthodox Church, in the Russian Orthodox Church in McKinney, Texas. Now we serve in English and we add a few things in the Russian liturgical language, Slavonic. So if you only know English, you will understand 100% of the service because 100% of it is in English and a few things are added in Slavonic that are just repeated. We have lots of services during the week. You can look on our website, orthodox.net and see our schedule. Most people are concerned about things like who are inquiring, they're saying, I'm looking into orthodoxy, um, I'd like to come to a service, what is expected of me, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So I'll tell you as much as I can. Um, I write this many, many times, so I thought I'd try the video, because then you get to see my face and, and um, see that I look like a nice guy and that I won't eat anybody. So here's uh, the kinds of things that uh, you can expect. Well, let's say you come on Sunday. Sunday our church is... Uh, is too small for the people area there, unfortunately. I guess it's a good problem to have. So uh, we are splitting the service into our, our main temple and then, of course, our, uh, our hall, which is just down the street. So it could be either one of those. But most people will come to the temple first. I think that's what you should do. Uh, the service starts at 9 o'clock with a, something's called the hours. A few things are sung and chanted, some Psalter reading. And that's about 20 minutes. And then we begin the Divine Liturgy. So basically 9.30, excuse me, 9.20 or so is when the Divine Liturgy begins. And everyone is welcome. I don't care if they're Orthodox or not Orthodox, uh, have a home or are homeless, it doesn't matter. Uh, what is the protocol? Well, the protocol is don't bring a tuba. We do not allow tubas. We do not allow any tuba playing in our church. And um, other than that, I mean, you really can't do much wrong. I mean, just kind of, you know, when in Rome, do like the Romans do, except we're not Roman Catholic now. You know, just um, just be part of it and just kind of watch what people do. Ask questions if you want to. Don't ask questions if you don't want to. Hang out in the back because, you know, you're shy if you want to. Be right at the front if you want to. But we really don't have any rules. We don't have any pews. We have a few seats along the edges. So don't feel shy. Uh, if you have children and you're worried, oh, my children are going to cause a racket, well, they'll be part of the joyful noise because we have a lot of children. And our children are, well, they're children. So sometimes they're obedient and sometimes they're not. Life goes on. We have lots of children, and it's beautiful to see. I, I, I give a children's sermon, or actually usually Father Nicholas on Sunday. We have two priests. And uh, that's after liturgy is over, basically. We could have 50 children sitting for the children's sermon which is a very engaging time. So don't feel shy about bringing your children. Don't worry too much. Obviously, if a child's screaming, well, take them out. If a child's just kind of being, you know, a child, a three-year-old, well, then you'll see other three-year-olds in there too, and they'll probably stack up about the same. So don't worry about your children. Uh, as far as how should you dress, well, just dress in a way that's that's not provocative, you know, that doesn't draw attention to yourself. That's all. Uh, do women wear dresses? Most of our women do. I would say the vast majority of people that are actually part of our community always wear a dress or a skirt and cover their heads. We do not ask that of our of our visitors. If you want to, if you're a woman and you want to wear a skirt or wear a dress and cover your head, God bless you if you want to. We have head coverings if people want to use them. If you come in pants. Oh, we're not going to turn you away. Of course not. Don't worry about things like that. What I hope you'll do is, after you come to the liturgy, that you'll stay afterwards, because we always have a meal afterwards for free for everybody down at the hall. Then after that, there's teaching. Now, uh, starting in September, September 1st is our kind of the start of our school year, just sort of like secular school. We have Sunday school. Uh, we have four grade levels. I also teach catechesis for the adults. And Father Nicholas teaches uh, Russian catechesis. The catechesis means teaching. So there's lots of opportunities. Any children, 
uh, various ages can come and um, enjoy it. What else can I tell you? Um, so we have Sunday school. We have a meal free for everyone. You don't feel shouldn't feel obligated. You need to bring something to eat. Don't do that. Um, and when you get to know people, maybe you can you know say I want to contribute. Okay, fine. Uh, but don't worry about it uh, when you first come to visit. For the first you know zillion times you come to visit, um, if you're interested in orthodoxy uh, and talk to Father Nicholas or myself. You'll find we are very happy to talk to you about it. Both of us are converts. Both of us found the pearl of a great price, the most beautiful thing we've ever seen in the world. Like a man who's uh, in a desert and uh, has not had anything to drink for two days or two weeks, and he comes to the oasis. It's the most beautiful thing he's ever seen. It's still the most beautiful thing that I've ever seen. And I first saw it in, uh, I was baptized in 1980. So what else can I tell you? I think that's about it. Um, I'll have information down in the description. You can call me. Uh, you can send an email. Um, you can send uh, a text by or whatever you want to do. Uh, just feel at home and feel like you you can ask any question you want. I'm not, not offended by any question. Um, and uh, I think you'll find that we're a very accommodating uh, group of people. So there's other services if you want to come on a, on a Tuesday or a Wednesday or a Wednesday morning, a Thursday morning. You'll see it on the main page those services. And you can certainly make an appointment to talk to me privately if you want and talk about what it means to be a catechumen and, and how, do you, how does that happen. I can certainly talk to you about that. If all you want to do is come and still go to your other church, I don't care. Uh, well, I care. But, you know, I don't, people have free will to do what they want. And I'm just happy to see anybody. I will leave you with one question if you got all the way to the end of this little uh, meandering uh, introduction. What is the purpose of your life? That is the most important question you can ask and the most important answer you can give. And you can ask it other ways too. What is your, why were you created, uh, et cetera. Why were you created? What is the purpose of your life? And uh, I'll give you a hint, it's the same problems. Now, once you answer that question, answer the question, how do you achieve that purpose? And uh, then you're on your way. So God bless you. you Want to contact me? Call me. You know, send a carrier pigeon, whatever you want to do. May God bless you and help you at all.